My name is Brianni Walker and I'm 15 years old. I'm an award-winning actress. I currently just won for the World Network Young Entrepreneur Award for my outstanding volunteering and fundraising for Stump Out Bullying and Ocean Pollution. I have a nonprofit organization, Brianni Walker Stop Bullying Me 501c3, and in honor of National Bullying Day, today I would like to talk about bullying. I dealt with bullying at home, when living with my mother, I dealt with a lot of bullying, which is why she doesn't have custody of right now. And I dealt with bullying at a workplace. I was wrongfully fired for the color of my skin. I also dealt with bullying at school. When I was younger, a girl threatened to shoot me with a gun because I was on Sam and Cat and she was jealous of me. How do you feel about bullying? Oh my gosh, it is like seriously the worst, one of the worst, worst problems affecting youth. Then when I was a kid growing up, I got bullied and there wasn't a lot of mm -hmm. discussion about that. But now I feel like so many people are talking about it, which is such an amazing thing. And more importantly, there's young people such as yourself that are bringing so much awareness to it. Um, and so the work that you're doing in these videos that you're creating, talking about bullying, is spreading so much awareness and helping to combat that. So I'm just so happy with the work that you're doing and how many lives that you're impacting and changing. Hi, and I'm Brianna Walker, and I'm reporting live for FTS News. I am here in Pasadena for the 48th NAACP Image Awards. I am so excited and can't wait to see who will all be participating. Besides my parents, ooh, uh, probably my grandparents. My grandmother would always like, be by my side, and we'd be like hand in hand, partner in crime. And yes, I still feel her spirits now, and she watches over me, which is like my spirit. Uh, my family, my blackish family, because they're really inspirational to me, and uh, all the different kids I see growing up that I get to do the thing and inspire other kids like me. Um, any inspiring words for today's youth? Well, you know, Brianna, the fact that you're out here and you're doing what you're doing, you inspire me. I'm a life member of the NAACP. I'm a membership ambassador, but I'm on the number one network, CBS. You know how I did it? I put God first, and then everything else fell into place. I went to college. I'm a member of Zeta Phi Beta. Now, I see you got the red on, so if there's some Deltas in your family, you might want to join Delta Sigma Theta when you get into college and everything. But the best thing you can do is continue to be what God made. You are a beautiful young lady, and you're very, very smart. And I look forward to seeing you do some great things in the world. And I'm just amazed by your presence. You are phenomenal. I want all of the youth to look at her and see what she's doing. You are so empowered and you are so powerful as young people. There's nothing that you cannot do. She is the example. Follow hard and watch what God does in your life. You are great and you're going to be greater. Thank you so much. The NAACP Image Award celebrates the accomplishment of people of color in the fields of television, music, literature, and films. I'm Brianni Walker with FTS News. This event was amazing. Check us out on our next episode. Bye. and I'm here with Brianni Walker. Yeah, and I'm here with, uh, what's the news? FTS Hey, I'm Anthony Anderson. I'm here with Brianna Walker, and you're watching FTS News. What does the FTS stand for? FTS News is for kids. For kids news? The worldwide is back today for me. I'm excited. Five. 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 Yeah, I started when I was five. So. That's a long career. Yeah. <laughs> who's, a, who's your favorite person you've ever interviewed? One of them. Do you have a good memory of someone? Yeah. My favorite person I ever interviewed was Kevin Frazier. Kevin Frazier. Are you saying that just because he works for entertainment tonight? No, I actually interviewed him. Okay. And I told him he was going to still stop. But they did that with me. Was he nice to you? Yeah. Good. Are you, are you, do you get to watch any of the movies here for him? Uh, yeah, I'll be watching some Awesome. I heard they're really yeah. Well, thank, thank you for talking to us. Hope you have fun today. You're welcome. Right, and I'll talk to you crazy you said hi. Okay. Tell him I'm still in his job. He's still in his job. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm Brianna Walker with FTS News. I'm here in downtown LA for the Young Artist Academy Awards. I'm also being nominated for Young New Media Award. Hey, your father seen a jewel. Your mama tried to get rid of you. Your mama hates you. Your father just claims you. Your self I'm 
Brianna Walker. I'm 14 years old. I go by Young Brie. I'm a music producer, actress, I model, I'm a film critic. I do everything. The advice I have for people being bullied is to just speak to someone, talk to someone that you trust. I'm a huge advocate to stop bullying. I think that people should stand up against bullying. I actually have songs out about bullying and that's what I want to continue to make is music about bullying. Get back. No bullies step back. Ah, uh, sicka sicka. Get back. No bullies step back. Ah, uh, sicka sicka. Get back. No bullies. What inspires me is music and, you know, a lot of people in the industry like Dove Cameron, China M. McLean, and Angela Bassett. Some projects I'm currently working on is I'm on Darn Man Changing Life series, which all my videos have 1 billion views. I have music out, I have a song out called We Must Rise Up, and I have a new song called Step Back, No Bullies. I'm also on The Cool School with Mr. Josh. It's an educational show, and I have many more things coming out. Just stay tuned. Get back. No bullies. Step back. Ah, uh, sicka sicka. Get back. No bullies, step back, ah, uh, sicky sicky, get back. No bullies, step back, ah, uh, sicky sicky now. Raise awareness to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I have a bully campaign, a nonprofit organization called Briani Walker Stop Bullying Me and I want to mandate bullying into a federal statutory law. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. Um, that's incredible. Um, I've, I've been bullied in kindergarten, so I mean, that's, that's so powerful and that's just incredible. That's incredible. I hope many success. Thank you. Much success. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Hi, this is Alan Shea with Our Society Show, and I am here on the red carpet with the incredible, the unbelievable, Miss Briani Walker. And you know what? I'm so proud of you. I have been following you for years, and the things that you are doing are incredible. Why don't you share, first of all, with your viewers, some of the things that you're working on tonight? Um, well, I have a lot that I'm working on. I'm a junior Oscar award-winning actress. I have a film that's coming out. I'm a songwriter. I work with Girls Make Beats, and We Make Beats. And I also have two anti-bully songs, We Must Rise Up and Step Back No Bullying, which you can find Step Back No Bullying on all streaming platforms. I have a nonprofit organization, Briani Walker Stop Bullying Me, 501c3. I want to mandate bullying into a federal statutory law. And I have a lot more that I have working on. Wow. You know, and, it, and for those viewers who aren't really familiar with this young lady, she's 15 years old. Her history reads like, uh, you know, you've been in the industry for 40 years. I mean, you're, you're a junior Oscar winner. You, you've, you've had roles on the Darmon series. You've created your own establishment. I mean, you're so phenomenal. What would you share with young people to really follow your lead? Um, I will always say just believe in yourself and never give up. I know that's cliche, but that's what I say. I also say to just believe in yourself because you have to believe in yourself to do this and you need a lot of family support, so make sure you wow. And last but not least, uh, I'm so proud of you because I know you've been spearheading a statutory uh, uh, initiative or bill. Why don't you share with the viewers before we let you go how that's progressing and what that is? Um, yeah, I want to mandate bullying into a federal statutory law. That's progressing. I have a organization where that's going to help me and I want to speak to more people that will help me out to make bullying a federal law because it doesn't just happen at school. It can happen at home. It can happen online. It can happen at your workplace. It's bullying stems down to everything. Police brutality, everything is bullying and that's why I want to stop it. And last but not least, I, you know, I get so excited when I see young people who have the ability to articulate, to be effective, and also to have a vision for their generation as you do. Uh, one of the things that, that I hope that you could put in motion before you leave here tonight is to let young people know how committed it should a young person be so that they can be like you because you, you've done some incredible things and I just think this platform gives you a nice voice to share that. Um.
Um, I think you have to be very committed. You have to want to do this. You have to be hungry for it. You can't never, and never let anybody telling you no stop you because so many people will tell you no and just think that you will always get a yes. You know, one of the things before I let you go, why don't you share with us how many followers have you been able to create? Because I've, I've heard somewhere between uh, 50,000, million, trillion, how many? Oh, yeah, we get a lot of views on Dharma. We get over a million views. I raised over $32 million for Stump Out Bullying and Ocean Pollution. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Join this lady. Follow her on her Instagram, all of her social media, and she's going to share with you what that is. My Instagram is at Miss Brianni Walker, M S dot B R I A N N I W A L K E R. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Love you. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? I think when someone's bullied, I think hopefully you're in a situation where you have adults around you that support you and can be there for you and, and carry you through that experience because it's a lot easier to have support in those situations. I have been bullied and it was not easy. And I did the thing that I don't want my child to ever do, which was I got quiet until I felt safe. And when you feel safe, you can do anything in life. And I think uh, when you're bullied, I think the hardest part of that is navigating feeling unsafe. But I advise going to adults that are there for you and mentors. That's great advice. Um, what she said is perfect. I think yes. having an ally and, and having, you know, reach out and you got to talk about it and be loud and be heard. Yep. That was amazing advice. So can I ask you, what is your opinion on mandating bullying into a federal statutory law? Because it doesn't just happen at school, it can also happen at home or your workplace, and it's against our civil rights. Absolutely, and I think the thing about that is it can happen on our phones. It happens in many different ways, and unless we sort of have agency and take control of that ourselves with our voices as the people of this country, I think it's going to be a hard thing to overcome. So that's the beauty of voting, and we all get to do that very soon if we're of age. And last but not least, I hear that you have a great campaign going about bullying, so why don't you share with us uh, what that is all about really quick. Yes, I have a nonprofit called Brianni Walker Stop Bullying Me 501c3 where I want to mandate bullying into a federal statutory law. That's what I'm working on right now. Well, we want to thank you so much and congratulations again to being an award winner here at HAPA. Thank you. Thank you. James Pickens Jr. here. Uh, you probably know me best from the um, drama Grey's Anatomy. I'm here presenting, I think, in the best film category for tonight. How do you feel being at Kids in the Spotlight today? Oh, it's great. I'm really inspired by it. Uh, obviously, this is the future of our industry, these young people. And the more we can support them and celebrate them, I think the better. So I'm really looking forward to this evening. What is your opinion on mandating bullying into a federal statutory law? Because it doesn't just happen at school. It can also happen at home or it can happen at a workplace and it's against our civil rights. Uh, I think bullying which has been a phenomenon as long as we can remember when it was just a standard bullying when you had the guy that took your lunch money at school but now it's taken on a whole another dynamic especially now with social media I think which is the most devastating of it all is uh, that cyber bullying. I think uh, any kind of law that will help protect those who feel threatened by this uh, to, to, to put a face to it. Uh, it it uh, crosses all lines, all genders, all colors. Uh, we have to put a pin on it and try and reverse this, uh, this phenomenon that's taking place. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, what advice do you have to someone who is being bullied? Well, no, I've never been bullied. Uh, but there was an episode on Family Matters where there was someone who was bullying uh, Steve Urkel. And uh, I ended up handling the bully and uh, my advice to anyone who is being bullied is to remember that usually a bully is a is a, is a, a lot of bark and no bite so it's a bite back <laughs> and bite first what is your opinion about making bullying a federal a federal statutory law because it's against our civil rights well uh, first off beyond our civil rights it's uh, it's a violation of your, your your fifth amendment rights as a human being so um, I really believe that we should, uh, uh, it should be a law that, that, that people shouldn't be allowed to bully or to intimidate uh, others uh, be, be, because it's, uh, it's inhumane. Thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, Darius McCurry, two C's, R-A-R-Y. I'm right here for you. Talk to me. I'll talk back. Thank you so much. I've been bullied a plethora of times. I grew up kind of the silent, nerdy kind of kid a bit. Not anymore, though. But... 
for my advice to those being bullied out there, just, I know you, this gets told a lot, but stick up. You know, the best way you can help yourself is by helping others. That's my advice. What about you? Oh, like, if someone tries to bully you, I think you should just leave it, and one day might, they might need help, so, like, treat others the way you want to be treated. Have you ever been bullied before, and if you have, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? Uh, I have been bullied before. It is definitely not a good feeling, and the thing I would say to anybody else who is being bullied, or if you've experienced bullying yourself, just really find your ground. The biggest thing for me is never letting somebody either disrespect me or take my shine from me. And whatever that shine is, make sure you recognize it so next time that's happening to you, you can always understand where it is so you can prevent it, hopefully. What is your opinion on making bullying a federal statutory law? Because it doesn't just happen at school, it can happen at home or workplace, and it's against our civil rights. Right. It is definitely against our civil rights. I mean, bullying is... Uh, form in um, many different ways, whether it be, you know, in the jailhouse, whether it be at school, like you said, at a work environment. So there are many different ways of it. So, I mean, any, any form of bullying, in my opinion, is bad. So whatever we can do to, you know, make that a reality, that would be great. Thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on, I believe, every platform, EJ Williams underscore 42, and that's the best way to reach me. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? Bullied? Yes. Oh yeah, I've I've been bullied and I have been a bully. <laughs> you can't tell the people that. No, I'm telling you, I've been bullied. But you know, one thing about being bullied, you gotta you gotta fight back. You gotta fight back double. Like if they bully you, you've gotta like like reciprocate double. Oh, you gotta bully them too. No, I mean, when I was in grade school, I remember I used to bully this little Jewish boy. <laughs> Maybe you just had a little crush on him, was that it? No, I just wanted him to be tough. I wanted him to hit me back. So I would hit him, and I would hit him until he hit me back. And then when he hit me back, I said, well, now you got my respect. <laughs> okay, so all bullies, you have to do... Bullies just do, they bully because they want to test you to see how... How strong, you are, yes. how strong you are. How strong you are. And you and if you're bullied, you're supposed to hit back twice as hard. Okay. That's, That's great advice. That's Thank you. Deal. Where can we find you on social media? Freedopain.com. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. <laughs> what is your opinion on mandating bullying into a federal statutory law? Because it doesn't just happen at school. Say it again? What is your opinion on mandating bullying into a federal statutory law? Because it doesn't just happen at school. It can happen at home oh, or at your nonsense. workplace. That's just silly. You know, nothing like that should ever be mandated at all. That's, that's, a, that's a violation of people's humanity and respect, so no. Thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media? Oh, man, I'm America's Most Wanted. You find me every day. Uh, I'm just chilling, baby. You Thank you. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, do you have any advice for someone being bullied? Mm, yes. Um, when I was in elementary school, I was bullied for my voice. And basically, I didn't say anything to anybody, so... My advice for you is to go to your principal or to your parents or to a peer and tell them what's going on. Have you ever been bullied before? And if you have, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? I have been bullied before. Uh, when I was younger, I you know, didn't have a lot of money growing up. So I um, you know, was bullied for, for being the poor kid in school and not having the cool clothes, etc. Uh, the advice that I give is to just know that uh, those sort of things only happen for a moment. Um, and as you get older, um, you know, sort of your responsibilities rely on yourself and you care less about what other people think. A lot of people that do that and bully people are just hurting inside and so just, you know, be you always and don't let anybody change the way that you act just based on how they treat you. What is your opinion on making bullying a federal statutory law because it doesn't just happen at school, it can happen at home or your workplace and it's against our civil rights? I think that that could get a little dicey because people are sensitive too. So I don't know that it should necessarily be a law. I think people should just Learn to be kind to each other. It's really that simple. It's not that hard. Thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Sudarius Blaine, and watch all the Jumanji movies because we've got another one coming soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, do you have any advice for someone being bullied? I have been bullied, actually. Um, my advice to you, it, to people being bullied, is they are going through something it's they're not they're projecting something on you through their insecurities and they're they're projecting their insecurities on you thank you i mean me personally i feel like a lot of 
people have been picked on before or you know even online they've gotten cyberbullied a lot of that happens especially being on social media for a while you have to face it at some point but um, my advice is to probably just ignore them I mean I know that it can be hard for a lot of people but there's a block button if you're ever being cyber bullied so you know make sure to use that button <laughs> thank you so much where can we find you on social media you can find me on social media at Jordan Kirat underscore and Jordan Kirat on all other platforms yeah thank you thank you so my question is how do you feel about bullying and have you ever been bullied before if you have um, what advice do you have to someone who is being bullied well defend yourself you know bottom line I mean you, you sit up here and you, you you people do what they what you allow them to do and sometimes I was always taught coming up and I've been in the martial arts all my life because of the fact my brother and I was being bullied as a younger a younger kid so my mother got us some self-defense classes but at the end of the day you only bully because you allow yourself to you gotta fight back man you gotta fight back and some people I understand that's afraid to fight back because they think whatever the case may be at the end of the day but you know I'm glad we are doing something about it today I'm glad that at the end of the day we are coming together to defend those people that's being bullied I think it's a damn shame I think for the most part once again learn how to protect yourself you know it could be a mental kind of state of mind thing you can talk your way to certain things you know but sometimes people that are shy they don't allow themselves to open up to defend themselves where can we find you on social media so we can follow you and support you mine then you can go to Keith Washington you can go to my Instagram Keith Washington you can go to Facebook focus on K2 I mean all that Instagram everything so we're good the next time you interviewing me, you better know my name and what I'm doing. I know you're young, but my music's young and old. A beautiful girl like you should know. <laughs> uh, my name is Greg Metzger, and I'm the board president of Kids in the Spotlight. That's super cool. So how does it feel being at Kids in the Spotlight today? Uh, today's... Today is amazing to be at Kids in the Spotlight. There's nowhere in the world I would rather be than at Kids in the Spotlight today. It is, um, it's such a great event. We get to watch amazing films and get to watch youth uh, grow, change, um, really transform their, human, their spirit. And I get to be here for it. How amazing is that? That's super amazing. So have you ever been bullied before? And if so, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? Um, well, I can't really remember being bullied. Oh yeah, my brother, okay, here we go. My brother's friends used to bully me all the time. I had an older brother and I wanted, you know, I wanted to play with my older brother, but he and his friends would always try and get me not to play with them and so they would bully me. Um, I don't know, I mean, my advice is uh, speak up and my other advice is uh, don't let it change who, how you feel about yourself. Um, just because people bully you doesn't mean you don't deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. That is a great answer. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're on. Go. Hi, I'm Briani Walker with Society TV. Can you tell us your name and what do you do? My name is London and I dance. How long have you been dancing for? For like five years now. That's amazing. So my question is, have you ever been bullied before? And if so, do you have any inspiring words for someone who's being bullied? Yes, I have been bullied before. And if you're getting bullied, you need to ask for help with like an adult or a therapist. And the person who is bullying you, they might have something going on in their home. So you just might want to check up on them. Okay, that's great advice. If you can tell your younger self one thing, what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself to be a better person because when I was young, no, I would tell myself to be less sensitive, like, and tell an adult, because when I got bullied when I was little, I never told anybody, and I would just stay there and be sad, so you need to tell somebody when you're getting bullied. That is great advice. So tell us where we can find you on social media so we can keep up with all of your dancing. Seventh Dancer. Thank you. I'm, my name is Dawn Zelay Abernathy. I'm an actress and an author, and I'm the daughter of the co-founder of the American Civil Rights Movement. And this is my husband, Dar Dixon. Hi, I'm Dar Dixon. Like, the, like she said, this is my wife. And let's just give a quick shout out to Kiani. 15 years old, there's no way I could have done this at 15. You have poise that I never would have had. Thank you so much. Have you ever been bullied before? And if so, what advice do you have to someone being bullied? Um, what was your, yes, have you, ever, have you ever been bullied before? And what advice would you give to someone oh being bullied? Oh my God, yeah. 
Absolutely. I, I, listen, I'm the oldest of, of, of four boys, and uh, all three of my brothers got bullied constantly. Um, it's a different world now. I know that. You never get a break, evidently, on social media. I guess the easiest thing would be put it down. The second thing would be stand up to your bully. They're all cowards. So I was bullied because we integrated the first elementary schools in the South, and um, I was called the N-word every single day, and I learned that it is my own strength of character and that I cannot sink to that same level. I believe, like Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. And so I learned to show compassion and um, Ultimately, those very same people that had bullied me all through elementary school uh, then turned to me while we were in elementary school as a leader uh, for them. So I've, I've endured it. I really and truly have, but um, I've been able to overcome, and we will all will. That is an amazing answer. Thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, well, um, I'm on Instagram and uh, I'm on Facebook. I don't do Twitter, and uh, yeah, because Twitter's changed now, so we're letting Twitter go. And um, I'm on IMDb. I'm an actress, so look for me on IMDb. And my husband, you can look for him on. Um, you can find me on my website. It's dardixon.com. D a r d i x o n.com. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Did a great Aren't you job. Beautiful? Haters gonna hate on my flow. People are images. Haters gonna hate on my flow. People are images. Yeah. Yeah. Love and unity is what we need because kids are dying behind bullying. Let's come together as one race. Take a stand for a better place. People are images. Yeah. Yeah. People are images. Reflections of themselves. Surface of bullies stem from broken homes. I saw problems of their own. We must rise up. Yeah, we must control this. Yeah, we must end suicide and bullying. We must rise up. We must control this. We must end suicide and bullying. Your father seated you. Your mother tried to get rid of you. Your father hates you. Your mother disclaims you. Your self-esteem is low, so you act so cold. Think it is cool to target the weak-minded at your school. We must rise up. We must control this. We must end suicide and bullying. We must rise up. Yeah. We must control this. We must end suicide and bullying. Your bullying history but yet our government's a mystery. With another full story of people that die, you say we're born, I say we'll rise. What was that? Did I hear you talk smack? Is my approachable, untouchable? The winning team knows me better than that, and the bullies all know, cause they better step back. Mm -hmm.